Hey. We are in Key West, Florida. These are one of those things where people are like, why don't you stay a few days? Well, the whole point of the trip, there's so many places I would have stayed a few days, but we're getting on the road. One day in a place that's kind of like the mantra. So we're gonna see what we can see. Watch out for the rooster. Yes, there was a rooster in the road. Hello people and welcome to a motorcycle vlog. This we're leaving from Key West and headed up the coast, the east coast. First I'm just going to ride around Key West, kind of get a general seal of it. Uh, I did this earlier and the footage for some reason was corrupted, but uh, I'll try and get that at some point, but just give a little of a waking town. Key West is pretty humble, pretty quiet in the morning. The southernmost point in the U.S. is here, and it's always good for a stop. Actually, the morning is the best time because there's nobody out. People tend to be out late. I was out too, but unless there's like a lot of lights out, I don't have a camera which shows you kind of what's going on. And it wasn't lit up. Like Vegas is really lit up. This is not lit up. And it's, and it's a little less. The heat is brutal and it's humid all the time. So you can get a good sense of kind of how relaxing the morning is as people slowly start to get up and get going for the day. But unfortunately, I had to say goodbye. Unfortunately, I'm riding into the sun, so there's not much you can see by looking back at the sun. But very low lying, and it's been a great ride so far. And it's a pain to say goodbye, but maybe at some point we can return with more time on our hands. The big thing is when you hit the Florida coast, especially the East Coast, you see the beaches and the resorts along the beaches. And just driving along the beaches is a sight in its own right. Now Florida is not known for the twists and turns in the hills, but this is what it's really known for. Kind of the scenes. Riding along the edge. Riding along, seeing the beautiful resorts, the huge skyscraping hotels, which kind of dwarf the rest of the city. They're all on the sandbar across from the land. And you can just ride along, enjoying your day and stop at any beach you really want to. Beach view. 
Now this could be Miami Beach, could be Fort Lauderdale, it could be any beach. But it's not. It's just a beach. As for which beach it is, well, you can imagine. I'm sure there's some definition. Dun 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 dun. It's hard not to people watch on the beach. Finally moving on, it became quite obvious that Florida has some unusual weather and the fact that scattered showers always seems to be adept when describing it. And you wonder what you do? Well, you avoid the weather at all costs if you can. Like here, see, I'm riding towards the clear spots. Always ride towards the clear spots. When riding in poor weather, there's a very easy and kind of one, two, three in order to do. One, Try and ride around the weather. Ride towards the open areas. Sometimes it's best to ride through a little storm. And if you see lightning, ride away from the lightning. This isn't really the area, but if you see storm chasers, make sure they're going in the opposite direction you are. That's important. But keep moving, and you can avoid a lot of the worst weather. And if you're playing Dodge the Thunderstorms, that can keep you quite busy in your own right when you're kind of moving through Florida. And eventually you'll get to some place where it's a good place to stop. And it's always a good place to stop, cover up the bike, hunker down, and wait till tomorrow. I thank you anyone for watching. And this is what kind of Florida is all about. You can spend your whole day freaking dodging in and out of thunderstorms and then find yourself in this kind of weather. It's Florida. Weather changes a lot. It goes from pouring rain to sunshine in a flash.